In exploration, sometimes the largest opportunity is the area with the least amount of information. Anything we can do to provide more and new information helps de-risk somebody who wants to go out in this large expanse of water and look for things. We have oil and gas offshore, so how do you convince people to go look for it? Microbiology, geomicrobiology hasn't actually really been used for these purposes and so from a microbiologist's standpoint it's very exciting. The greater goal of this entire project is to de-risk offshore oil and gas exploration. This person wants to genotype the DNA of bacteria and they can tell me whether there is oil there or not. We've done two expeditions to take samples out of the bottom of the ocean floor. It's our collaboration with Genome Canada and the folks at the University of Calgary. It's our chemistry information, their microbiology information. Coupled together, it's a much more powerful tool than if it stands on its own. I've been looking at some of the data. It seems pretty promising so far. We're pretty excited by the results. At first glance, it doesn't look all that impressive. But once you've seen enough of them, you start to realize this is a lot going on. It's a detective story and we need to use all the clues that we can. That's where the microbiology fits in, it's another piece in the puzzle. The seismic data, the geophysical data is really improving our confidence that it's there. doing various projects related to ocean, oil and gas, bacteria in those kinds of environments. In deep water settings, the drilling costs can be quite high, billions of dollars potentially. So any methods, uh, whether they're uh, geology or microbiology, any methods that can help uh, de-risk those decisions uh, for others uh, could be quite valuable. We'll be able to identify these microbes in the surface um, and use them to infer a nearby oil and gas reservoir, thereby de-risking exploration. We don't know what we're going to find out there. It truly is exploration in the true sense. We're a very diverse group. We all come from different backgrounds, different places. And it means that we all have a specific way of looking at a problem, but it means when we come together, it gives us a really good group dynamic and it means we can look at problems from many different angles. You lean on, on the ability of other people to make your work more robust. It provides support for you and it makes your research better. You have to really be on your toes all the time because you're dealing with a lot of very smart people very much learning to be a perfectionist with my work because we have so many good scientists in our group that you can't put out stuff that's not perfect. The University of Calgary has, has always been a real leader in terms of combining microbiology with oil and gas problems. There's a long legacy of successful projects of this kind. I mean, we're scientists. That's the reason we're here, to make discoveries. The University of Calgary is a perfect place for that. I have worked in a research institute where we don't have access to all this great equipment. And I know that it, it makes a lot of difference. That's one of the reasons why I immigrated. I can come to school every day knowing I'm working on something that I care about and I'm proud of it. It's a great university. There's a lot of resources here. And, you know, we have a fantastic building and environment in which to work and uh, our lab space is amazing. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's been absolutely great so far. The University of Calgary is uh, very supportive of not just fundamental research, but applied research. I think this, a project like this touches on both. They encourage us to go for it and to come up with uh, innovative strategies uh, that could be commercialized someday. So that's, uh, that's a nice environment to work in. Thank you.